Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Wizarding World box. Guys, my Wizarding World boxes that have been backdated, they have just been shipping like crazy. I just got this box a few days ago and I actually have two more boxes that are going to be delivered soon. So I don't know what is going on, but Loot Crate is really pumping out those boxes and getting these old boxes shipped to us really quickly. I really hope they keep it up and then they can stay on target so that we get our boxes when we're supposed to. It really makes me so excited because when I filmed my last Wizarding World box, I honestly thought it would be the last one for a long time. And then boom, 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 I keep getting notifications. To keep you guys updated, this is my December 5th, 2022 box, which really is like two months ago. So it did arrive on the time it was supposed to. I'm so impressed. I actually have two other boxes that are currently in the process of being shipped to me. One is expected tomorrow and the other one's expected next week. Those are the June and August 2022 boxes. And so far, the only one that has not shipped is the October 2022 box and the current February 2023 box. Now I'm only going to be behind by two boxes. I'm so happy that they are getting caught up. I don't know what it is that they're doing or what changes they made because I know that they have gone through some, but whatever it is, it's working. And I'm just happy to share with you guys my boxes. If you have never heard of Wizarding World, it is a box that you can get through Loot Crate. I will have a link to the website in the description box below. It's about $40 every other month, five monthly subscription. And I honestly think it's totally worth it. You really do get some good Harry Potter themed goodies in these boxes at a good price. Let's go ahead and see what was in the December 2022 box. I, guys, I'm just so impressed that this is the one that we were supposed to get this month and it shipped on time. That's gotta be a record. Oh, I love the inside design of this box. These boxes can be flipped upside down so that you can have a decorated box if you wanna keep it. I did mention that last time when we had the sorting hat. So this is Hogwarts, in case you did not know. So fun. Let's go ahead and do the box first this time. Ooh, the Dark Mark candle. I don't think I've received a candle from them before. What does it look like? Ah, definitely dark inspired. You see the symbol over here, nice black candle. I love this jar. It's so cute and it's a pretty good size candle. It does not say how big it is, but just based on the candles that I receive, I would say anywhere between six and eight ounces, only because we typically received four ounce candles in a lot of other places, but are a lot smaller and thinner. So I'm gonna go with maybe an eight ounce candle. After it burns, you can keep this and either store other stuff in it or just keep it as decor on your shelf. Okay, so that kind of gives me a little bit of a hint of this box. Maybe it's gonna be more dark arts themed. We have a Death Eaters pin. Definitely a dark arts inspired box which would explain why they did such a dark scene of Hogwarts here. A very cool looking pen. I will add it to my Harry Potter collection and my pen collection. Okay, the next item that I see came in this little box. What do we have here? Oh, oh, it's a pen. I wonder if this is a tooth from the Basilisk. Oh, it doesn't stand up. Bummer, I wish it did, but it does have the tip on there, which tells me it's the pin. It does not tell me on the box what it is, so I'm just having to make a guess, but that's what it kind of looks like. And obviously it will be a nice, interesting pin to add to any Harry Potter collection. I mean, I can only imagine what people would think it was. It's kind of one of those things that if you didn't know what it was, then you don't know what it is. And I could be totally wrong, but that would be my guess. And let's go ahead and check out the clothing item. Oh, the clothing item this time is a scarf. No, it's not a scarf. What is it? It's like a hood. I don't want to mess up my fun hair, but whoa. Okay, this is cool. It's not the kind of clothing item that I would typically expect. Usually we get shirts, long sleeve, or regular. All right, let's get it off. But it would be good to add to any kind of costume that you were doing. And then it looks like this is the Deathly Hollows. And then there is the Deathly Hollow symbol all throughout this entire hood. 
I really don't know what else to call it. It's like a scarf, but it has a hood. Very unique clothing item there. And then the last thing that I see is Tom Riddle's diary. Or at least their interpretation of Tom Riddle's diary. Yes, and it kind of looks like it already has a puncture mark from the basilisk fang getting jabbed into it. This is cool, and it is another journal where it is blank and open to interpretation. There's no lines, which I believe is how the Tom Riddle journal actually was because you know you would write in the journal and it would write back. Really cool fandom type item to get. And then on the back it says Tom Marvolo Riddle. Really cool. I'm so pumped that I got this box so quickly. Like you have no idea. Yeah, let's do a recap. We have our Dark Arts candle, the Death Eater pin, the Basilisk Fang pin, which is a different kind of pin, Tom Riddle journal, and then this really interesting like hood slash scarf thing. I think the quality of it is really nice. I think they did a really good job decorating it. That was everything in this Wizarding World box. You'll have to let me know what you thought of the items down below. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.